Hi YouTube, I'm back again with another video and like I said in the previous video, this video will focus on the different diets in the book, which is the STAR plan, the HEAL plan, and then your reintroduction plan. So let's start with the STAR plan. The STAR plan is a three-day plan. Now this plan is designed to give you relief from your bloat, from your gas, and from your constipation. And I have to say, I can attest to that's exactly what the diet is doing. Once I started the three-day plan, on day two, I started coming out. Actually, on day one, I came out, but it was still like the constipated parts. But from day two on, I was as regular as can be. And my stool was normal, if you will. I'm not going to describe <laughs> my normal stool to you. But yeah, my stool was normal. And I was very happy because I didn't feel bloated, I didn't feel constipated, and I definitely did not have all that gas production in my gut. Now what causes that gas production is the fact that your um, food go from your intestines to your large intestine, and when it gets to the last large intestine, it remains there, and that is what causes gallons and gallons of gas in your intestine, in your large, large intestine. You can, that is something that Noodle explains in the book. So again, please buy the book. Secondly, the diet includes some acidic foods, but not a lot, the stop plan, and it's low acidic produce that it includes. Yeah, it's low acidic produce that it includes, but it does not include high FODMAP foods. Still low FODMAP foods, which is basically the low fiber foods. Um, but in three days, you will really feel such great relief and you would feel that your gut is healed, but no urge us to continue to the next plan, which is the heal plan, because that is really the plan that is going to heal your gut. Gut. This is just to start your metabolism, get you to feel normal and well again, but just remember at this stage your gut is not healed at all. And some people might want to stay forever on the three-day plan, which Noor is not recommending. She is urging us to move, to the, move forward to the heal plan. I stayed on the STAR plan for six days, which she recommends, but she does not recommend you to stay longer than one week on the STAR plan. And the reason why I stayed on the STAR plan was because I had the three-day plan, and then, you know, the weekend is approaching, and we went to the beach, and I did not want to start the heal plan while being away from home, because you really have to focus on your cooking and just eating the exact portions as the diet asked. And since I was familiar then with the stop plan, it was just so much easier to prepare meals for the stop plan, which I can take with to the beach and enjoy there. So that's basically it for the stop plan, guys. And now to our heal plan. So the heal plan consists of four weeks four weeks, so it's a whole month that you're going to be on the heal plan. Like I said before, the, the, the four-week heal plan is there to heal your gut. It does not include any acidic produce or any high FODMAP produce, which is high fiber produce. It's just low fiber produce and non-acidic produce. Like we said, the plan is there to to heal your gut, right? The idea is not to stay forever on this plan as well. No high fiber produce, no acidic produce, because she also tells you in her book how important it is to eat high fiber produce and the nutritional properties of high fiber produce. And so that's why she would never want you to just stay on the high fiber, sorry, the low fiber produce because what she says is that you basically cut out a whole nutritional group 
that is so good for your body and for your gut and that you should be able to consume. And so this diet, the, the four-week plan is really good. You feel good every day. Um, here and there, depending on what low fiber produce you cannot eat, I would get a reaction. But for the most part, I did not also because you eat very, very small portions of, of every produce. So broccoli and I were not friends for a very long time. It will always make me bloated and gassy and just give, put me in discomfort. But I probably always ate too much of it. So you only have to eat what your stomach can process or what your intestines can process. So yeah, just eat what your stomach can process and eat smaller amounts and the diet actually will really, really guide you. I also want to mention, I just said that sometimes I didn't feel okay because like as in, in, in the case of the broccoli, right? But the second time I ate the broccoli, I was fine because you only eat like really, really small amounts. The same with eggplant. I will, in a different video, explain my, the diet plans that I've been on and how that has affected me and how it also brought me to a place of having to eliminate so much produce that's healthy, actually. For example, eggplant, if you eat too much of it, you can get bloated and constipated of it because it contains a chemical that is very difficult for the gut to, to um, process. And some, that's something I did not know. The same with potatoes. So in the diet here and there, there's an eggplant recipe and I would feel a certain way or I would feel a little bit of discomfort, but not too much. But I knew I would, knew, I would know it's from that. But overall, did my gut really function well with, on this particular diet? So yeah, that is all I have to say for the heal plan. You really have to follow it and it will eliminate all high fiber produce as well as acidic produce because acidic produce and high fiber produce, I believe, contributes to fermentation, especially acidic produce. So that is what we are avoiding in the heal plan. Then we go over to the reintroduction plan. Now the reintroduction plan is basically introducing the food that we could not eat before or the food that the heal plan did not include. For example, your high FODMAPs produce as well as your acidic produce. So every day you will, you will introduce a certain produce into the diet. For example, you will on day one, we introduced onions or we, sorry, the first week, not onions, garlic. The first week we introduced garlic, but only for two days or three days. And on day one, for example, you would add one clove of garlic to your food. On day two, two cloves and say on day three, three cloves. So as you continue throughout the reintroduction plan, you increase the amount of that particular produce. However, if you feel any reaction, for example, garlic and I are still not friends, it still causes a lot of gas for me. For now, I just decided I'm not going to eat garlic. And so after you eat that for two or three days, you go back to the heal plan and follow the recipes in the heal plan. That's how we reintroduce food. The same goes for onions. It's the same method that you follow. And obviously she gives you the, the, the produce that you're going to infuse or include gar garlic with, or you're gonna cook garlic with this produce or onions with this produce. So that's the reintroduction plan. And it also goes on for four weeks, but it can also go on for longer depending on how much time you need to heal your gut. Like I said to you, uh, garlic gave me a reaction. So I will definitely have to, I will definitely have to continue the reintroduction plan for 
a bit longer and just take it slower on the garlic. So any produce that still give me a reaction, I just need to take it slower and not rush anything. So that is the reintroduction plan and during any stage of this, sorry, during any stage of the reintroduction plan, if I can give you a tip when you feel that you are constipated or you're going backwards, go back to the stop plan. She says go back to the heal, healing plan or the heal plan, but I actually go back to the stop plan because it's a three-day stop plan and I just follow that recipe or I, I just follow the diet for that stop plan which give me the relief and give me regular bowel movements. That's it for the three plans. Again, buy her book. All the plans are in there. You're going to need the book, honestly, to really understand what it's about, how to incorporate the diets in your life, and underst just understand nutrition and understand acid reflux. So on that note, this is the end of this video. My next video will be about tips for the diets, how you can improvise when you do not have things, but still improvise in terms of, I would use things that we do use in the diet. I would not use something that we don't use in the diet at all. You have to use your brain a little bit when you're in a place where you cannot find certain things or certain produce in order to improvise. On that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will talk about the tips with regards to improvisation to the plans. Thank you.